the concept of pruning really helps me reframe loss. So let's look at my ficus belize pink plant, one of my favorite plants. This plant's doing great, right? It's growing, moving along, right? It will keep growing up. It'll keep putting out leaves. Great, 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 great. However, if I was to remove the top of this plant, it's actually going to instigate the plant. So when you prune a plant, it triggers the release of a hormone called auxin, which runs up and down the stem and triggers that bushy lateral growth, right? So if this plant was to continue growing the way it would, it would grow tall, but it wouldn't be able to support itself. And the stalk would eventually tip over. You'd have to prop it up. You'd have to, you know, or it would just be like lopsided. It'd be, it'd be existing, but it would be kind of lopsided. If I bravely prune something away, right? If I bravely prune this plant back while it's in this stage, it will shoot more lateral buds. And instead of having one lopsided stalk, it will have maybe three, four, five that grow together that kind of support each other a little bit better. Uh, you can tie strings. The plant just ends up being more robust. And then maybe you prune back again and that prune will trigger new growth. So with loss, is there a way that you can reframe it as being something being taken away to allow for you to set forth something new? I spent a decade as a musical theater performer. I lost my job in the pandemic. It allowed me to be able to create these crazy pieces of content for you, right? If you lose a friend, if you go through a friend breakup, maybe that friend allowed for, you know, creating space for new friends to come in that are better supportive for you in this new phase of your life. 